Greetings and welcome back. We are playing an AI modded version of Distant Worlds Universe. Alright, so not much to talk about before we get going, so I think we'll just get going. And we got a fuel source up there, I see. Perfect. Alright, so uh, the pirates uh, cancelled that protection agreement, so we're not doing too bad in cash flow at the moment. And um, hopefully with our warp force, we will not have to buy that back, because that was super expensive. Ah, foreign intelligence agents just set back construction of, uh, I think, our spaceport that we got going in there. <laughs> I thought it was an attack, but no, it is in a way, I guess. Okay, we got a colony ship on its way out. What's this? Ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Um, yes, there it is. Oh, excellent. Let's kill this thing. Oop, give me my warp force. And one ship's just about out of fuel. I think that's the one on its way back. So I'm just going to issue this order to attack that. And I'm just gonna slow this down. There we go. Get it. He's in the warp he's in the uh warp hyper deny field. Excellent. Get him boys. This thing's tough. Killing every fighter I have, though. That's okay, we're still pounding on the shields. He's not getting away. This is going to take a minute. Speed it up a little bit. Wow, shields are building just as fast as we're knocking them down. Just got to get them down and start hammering at this thing. Okay, they're dropping. Yeah, yeah, I see ya. <laughs> nag, nag, nag. Get them, get them. Get in there. <laughs> I wish this thing had pods on it, I could capture it, but no such luck. Actually, I do have the technology to get capture going, too. I should almost look at that. Ooh, I got 105 in money. We can buy some ships now, finally. Come on, get him! <laughs> There we go. Starting to hammer at it now. Man, this thing's got good shields. This thing has excellent shields, but we're definitely doing some damage to it. Yeah, I can't tell. But you can tell just looking at the graphic that we are hammering away at it. It will fall. Looks like it might be slowing down a bit too. Yeah, here we go. Excellent. Excellent. Ka freaking boom. <laughs> oh. I feel like I just won the game. <laughs> that thing out of the skies is a definite asset. All right. I feel a little better about our position now. Yes, that warp force is awesome. All right. Uh, well, I'm just going to get you to continue to patrol Homeworld for the moment. And maybe when this one ship gets home, I'm pretty sure this is the one that's heading out yet. Yeah. Maybe once he gets home and refueled, we'll take him back out and start exploring again. I should almost maybe pick another one of those ships as well. Um, 
yeah, and we'll get this one. I'm going to get this one to leave the warp force. And we're going to get you to... That's where the silver mist are, is in this area. So we'll avoid that. I'm just wondering. I have silver mist up here as well. Um, I might come over, try and get into this cluster a bit. Yeah, fuel range isn't that great on this ship either. Six sectors, so... Yeah. Um, hmm. I guess we can continue on in this area, maybe. I'll just come down here. Okay, so you go there. And like I said, this one that's coming up... Let's go back to our warp force. This one here, I'm going to get him to also leave that fleet. This guy's got awesome range. But we'll let him refuel, and then we'll take him out. Okay, now we got construction ships done. Or whining about fuel anyways, if nothing else. Um, well, let's just come into the planner. How's our Keslon situation? It'll get a little better, but our unfulfilled's gone up as well. But we got 8.5k in transit. So it is coming in, just uh, slower than we're using it. So I don't know whether I'm going to go for any more Keslon sources. I think I might try and beef up like carbon fiber and stuff like that. Okay, guess we're not doing that. How about uh, polymer? We're pretty good on chromium. We got two sources, and I think there's a source on those uh, other planets that we're about to colonize as well. Speaking of which, speaking of which, yes, that's done. So I'm going to get another colony ship. Purchase that, and I'm going to get another resupply ship. Purchase that. Okay, so that's that. Um, what else are we in dire need of here? Another source of necrostone would be nice too. That seems to always be a high priority for the pirates too, so. And that one looks pretty good. We'll grab that. How are we doing for Aculon? Four sources. Okay, I don't have to worry about that too much. Um, any more Emerus Crystal out here? One more source. All right, grab it. And one more construction ship, eh? Uh, what should we get? What should we get? <clears throat> Another source of Argon. Oh, Aculon Argon. Oh, there's one with some helium, so we'll grab that. And that should be the end of the construction ships. And they will fuel up when they pick up their supplies to do that build. So I'm not worried about refueling them first. And we got these guys done. And we must have got the reactors during all that, did we? We did. Okay, so before I purchase any of those ships I designed, I'm going to go in and redesign them. I am going to just hit auto upgrade. And it fell off my radar here because it's now oversize. Yeah, it went 16 oversized because of that, so we're just going to edit that. We've probably got too many of them now, big time. So I'm going to pull a couple of those off. Okay, that gives us more room for other stuff. Could go for better maneuverability. Or I could just maybe... Hmm... Okay, not sure exactly what to do with these. I got 600 shields on this thing. Well, I don't normally put that many on, but I'll take it, I guess. Um, oh, assault pods. They're going to be standing off stronger and weaker opponents all weapons. But I got rail guns on here. If I'm going to do that, I just as soon not have the rail guns and have like pulse, pulse blasters instead. I think I'll do that. I'm going to take the rail guns off this. And I should almost get into Maxis Blasters. Let me put five of those on. I just don't want to damage the ships we're trying to capture is the only thing. So let's get a few of these on there. That should be fine. 
Okay, that's looking like a pretty tough ship. Maybe we'll just uh, top up with another engine or something. Yeah, I'll pull a piece of armor just to get that evened. All right, so um, still need the better engines yet. I think I might have that queued up after energy collection. I'm not sure. I actually, I don't think I do, but I should get into that. I think I was going for bigger ships, which I think I'm going to second guess at this point. Yeah, let's get better engines and maneuverability. Okay, so that's that. Um, where is our stinger? Auto upgrade, we'll edit that, and we will pull. Oops, not those, these. Do we need to do that? Um, yep, might as well pull one of those. Gives us a bit more space. Not sure what to do with it, but it does give us more space. Hmm. Well, I think I'll just throw an extra shield on it there. That's, that's done. Okay, so that's that. Um, definitely the Explorer. And I'll just hit manual just to bring it up to a Mark IV. All right, what's your range now? 6.88 sectors, excellent. So we can probably pull one, two of those off. And I don't think I need to do a whole lot more than maybe put some shields and armor on it. Or I got armor, but just put some shields. And I'm not going to worry about fuel capacity, unfortunately. I don't have the fuel supply right now to worry about that. That's actually pretty huge. But I'm going to leave it because their tanks will be, some of their tanks will be full. But uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay, construction ship, we'll just do the same thing. Throw a few shields on it. Oh, and one more cargo bay, I guess. Not sure I need that kind of fuel capacity anymore on these, but... Um, Again, if I take them off, I probably just lose the fuel that's on the ships. I don't know whether it gets offloaded in that situation, but I think I'll just leave it. Okay, we'll go with that. And colony ship, might as well do that. Even though I just already just started one, but I'm not going to worry about uh, re or upgrading it or anything. There, we'll just go with that. And we'll just save. Don't need to concentrate on that too much. Okay, troop ships. Uh, I'm just going to leave it with the capacity of three uh, infantry for now. This thing's got huge range. Okay, we got to pull that back a bit. Six sectors, eh? I might just leave that. If we if we find an independent way out, then we might be able to whip out and grab it. So I'm just going to leave that with a additional uh, fuel supply on it. And you got shields and all that good stuff. So hit save. A resupply, I guess I will uh, do something with that. Okay, let's get the extra reactors off first. Ah, put one more back on. That was too many off. There we go. I don't think I'm going to do much more to this. Uh, other than maybe give it a couple more engines. There, just a bit quicker. All right, just uh, go with that. And we're done. Okay, so all these are done. Now I should do the private sector. Um, so we're gonna auto. And I just gotta take one reactor off. Maybe throw a shield on. Yeah, 100 shields, I'm not too worried about uh, private sector. The thing about private sector, yeah, if it gets destroyed, you lose the cargo, but uh, the private sector rebuilds it and you get the money for doing that, right? So you sort of bonus out anyways if they get destroyed. Like I say, you just lose the cargo, which is kind of a crappy end of it. But So I don't worry about hopping these up on defense a huge amount. Yeah, I'm going to leave the fuel capacity again because, uh, number one, if there's fuel in the tanks, then at least it's still there. So I'm just going to do this quickly. And I think all I did was take a reactor off and add a shield. Oops, one at 
time would do. Oops. My knee while I get this done. I guess I could have paused the recording. Oh well, I'm almost done now, so I guess we'll just carry on. Okay, one reactor. Ooh, we got two reactors here. Uh, one, two can come off. Yes. And this is a mining ship. I might actually put a few extra shields on that one. Okay, so that's the private sector done. So we'll probably get a bit of cash for that retrofit. Okay, so that's done. And what's my time at? Yeah, 16 minutes. Okay, we got lots of time here. All right. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I think retrofit those uh, the uh, the one uh, resupply ship I have. So I'll make sure that gets retrofitted right away. Um, Okay, let's just go to Explorer Ships. I'm going to just bring all of them in regardless of what they're doing right now. And we'll re retrofit those. Uh, construction ships will do as they finish up. Okay, and what else? I guess I might as well go to Military Ships. I might as well get these few uh, escorts done. And these ones here. Wow, I built that many? Oh yeah, I built two fleets of them. Okay, we will retrofit those. And I guess we might as well do the troop ships as well. Yeah, no need to do that. And the refueling, I gave you a retrofit order, didn't I not? I thought I gave you a retrofit order. I guess it's going for fuel first and then it'll do it. It always prioritizes making sure it has fuel, so that's fine. And that's fine. Okay, so that should be all our ships done. Private sector will do there. I could force the private sector manually, but I'll just let them do it as they need to. All right, um, carry on, I guess. Yeah, everybody needs fuel right now. <clears throat> Okay, um, so a bit of a look see here. Yep, bonus income's coming. Okay, so now that we got some money ahead, let's. Oh, leader, Hawks are in. Population growth is now plus 10. Perfect. How is Homeworld doing? Just have a quick look here. 18.5. Plus three percent. So I guess I'm just gonna have to live with that for now. Uh, taxing at twenty, so we're making a little bit of money. We're gonna try and rely on our bonus income as much as possible. All right, so let's maybe. Um, did I ever? Yes, I did. I did. Uh, yeah, I did get that to a medium spaceport. I'm almost thinking I should go to a large at this point. How many bays is on this thing? I think there's a dozen. Okay, no, that's fine for now. I think for now I'm just going to build a few of those. Do, 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 do. Stingers. How many can I get? Uh, four grand each, so I can get at least ten. Actually, I'm going to start with five just because of the fuel issues. And then I'll, I'll add uh, five more a bit later. So I'm going to go to military. I'm going to fleet those up into a new fleet. And we are going to rename that fleet to, and maybe just call it the carrier fleet. Ah, fighter fleet sounds better. There, so we got a fighter fleet happening now. Um, yes, yeah, so and one other thing too. 
I do have my list of names running here. I'm still trying to figure out how to deal with the ship names. Um, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh, this was a request to leave the ship named Hostile Intruder, so we're just going to make sure we don't rename that at any point. So 15 ships is what I need. Uh, I was, what I was hoping to do is wait until I got like a really nice fleet going with capital ships and all that kind of stuff and then start using these names. I'm kind of not really convinced the game's going to uh, last that long. <laughs> I don't know whether I should start naming stuff now, but uh, we'll get the ships built first and then maybe we'll look at it. I'm sure everybody would like a capital ship named after them, but I don't know whether we're going to be able to do that. Uh, trade sanctions imposed. That's uh, pretty much standard for the Boscarns. Do not bother replying. We are not interested in your response. How rude. All right. Um, I guess we can speed this back up to 4x for a bit. Maybe not. Oh, did that get retrofitted? Oop. Okay, so our explorers are getting retrofitted. I didn't need to click on that. So what I'm going to do now, because they got a bit better range, a lot better range actually, is I'm going to start exploring by sector. And I think I'm going to start with this sector over here. Actually, I better start in the one we're in, because uh, we still got un un uh, unexplored planets with for resources, so I better explore this sector. So I'm going to explore all sectors in G5 with that one. And do we have any others ready? No. And our destroyers are done. So let's just have a look at that fleet here. And yeah, no fuel, of course. Okay, so that's probably the first thing they're going to do. Did I not rename all those planets? I did, I missed one, I guess. I guess I missed one. Oh well. Ah, Fleet Admiral Shane Ariel is now a skilled navigator. Ooh. Looking good, Shane. Looking good. Energy savings, 37%. Countermeasures, 13 I don't have countermeasures yet, but once we do... I, we might have countermeasures on that uh, fleet, actually. Um, targeting, ship maneuvering, weapons damage increase, hyper jump speed. Excellent. All right. Carry on. And we have a construction ship done, so I'm going to send that for retrofit. And off you go. And Aether is now a better diplomat. Plus 74. Is that, oh, there we go. We got energy collection now. Plus 74. What's that doing for us now? Was that at 19 before? I think it was minus 19 or 17. It's getting better anyways. Okay. I'm surprised they haven't taken that yet. I'm sure it's on their uh, agenda. Oh man, it's almost worth retrofitting that. <laughs> I guess it's just reactors that would change anyway, so it's not going to really go any faster, is it? Oh, you're out of fuel, that's why. Oh, for crying out loud. Uh, okay. Ooh, refitting mails discovered. At our colony Serbia in the Trania system. Perfect, another luxury for us. I'm almost thinking I'm going to hit the refuel order on that. I think he'll come up there, refuel, and then we'll carry on. Because that's going to take forever for him to get there. No, you're not going back there. Ugh. You're going here. Refuel here. Okay, off you go. And then... Oh, I forget which system it was now. That one. Q. 
queue this. I don't know whether I can queue that mission. Can I? Uh, good question. Right click. No, no, no. No, there's no queue here. I can't queue missions with this. Okay, never mind. We'll just have to remember to come back after it's refueled. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Pause. Oh my God. How's your galactic reach, guys? The Ignari, oh my god. Ignari, Ignari. 19 colonies, 20 billion people. Not overly powerful. Very passive. And they're not liking us a whole lot. But holy, they, they gotta be the top uh, territory guys. And they are, 19. Oh, I don't know, guys. This uh, <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of faith in seeing this game through. I think we're going to get clobbered. Yes, this is not going well. Still fun, though. That's the thing about this game. Even if you get your ass kicked, it's still fun. Ah, okay, that uh, explorer's done. Ooh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Terrapins Resort Base. Okay. And actually, that's what I need to do is get some more of those out there. Okay, so let's uh, just carry on in here. Get the feeling all this is discovered already, though. I don't think we're going to gain a whole lot by doing that. Ah, yes, let's put that spy back to work. That's why I have the suggest on, just to remind me that, hey, he's just sitting around doing nothing. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Well, let's get you to do something. Well, since the boss garns are really ticked at us anyways. See, I didn't, never did get their territory map. I sent that uh, crappy agent to get that and he, uh, he failed at it. So, 92%. I don't think... They have better spies. Let's just double check that. Nope. Faster research. That's a good thing. Be able to steal some research off them, maybe. All right. Off you go. He's courageous, so <laughs> indulge, buddy. Okay. And what, uh, just what mission were you saying? Oh, yeah. Go against pirates where you'll get them killed for sure. And eh, decline. Okay, I see we're coming up on 27 minutes. Uh, this episode takes me into the weekend, so I'll have no problem carrying on after this. So um, I'll probably hang it up for today. I don't know, what's your opinion? Does, does this make me look unprofessional having that on the screen? Yeah, it's the only way I can time myself, really. And yeah, it's gone anyways, but... Okay, Destroyer Tenacious Stealth. Okay, that's this one down here. And we're in enemy territory here, I think. Well, not enemy territory, Nippur territory. Ancient guardians are in here. Oh, terrapins. Again. So the terrapins are in this area somewhere. Okay, well, maybe we'll wander over this direction. I don't... I don't think there's going to be too many places that haven't been explored yet. I'm still looking for a planet destroyer, too. Let's just have a look at our special locations. Deposed DAC weapon. I think I was pronouncing that with an R yesterday. I wasn't saying Prozac, but I think I... Uh, Prose DAC, I called it. I, re I realized there was no R in it when I finally uh, titled the uh, episode. So, nothing yet for his planet destroyers. That's going to be our only saving grace if I can find one of those and get it repaired. Oh, that's Terrapins here. Yeah, let's just maybe throw the influence on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, just uh, intelligence agent setback instruction there. Okay. I think that's the Nippur. I can't quite tell. What color are the terrapins? The terrapins are that color, so I know that's not the terrapins. It's still the Nippur down here. Okay, and this uh, looming sun 
is ready to go explore too. Where would you like to go? I think that's where I'm at. Yep, that's you guys. Okay, so I think I'm just going to randomly come up here and see what we can find. Off you go. And resupply ship. Let's get you retrofitted. Did I take my mini... F no, did I... Hmm. Not Warp Force Fighter Fleet. No, they're up to the lightest design. I did it through the other menu, so... That kind of messed me up a bit. And we have construction. Go for retrofit. Yeah, I don't want to go crazy building ships because that's going to stress out my fuel. I see we got a bit of a fuel supply in here now, so that's good. And we have long-range scanners. So now that we have long-range scanners and energy collection, I should almost maybe go into our base designs. Maybe I'll do that now since we're at the end of the episode and get that done. And if you guys don't want to stick around and watch that, then that's fine. Um... Yes, maybe I should have a quick wander this way. Just make sure that we don't have any pirates. Doesn't look like it. Perfect. And we're still building that stuff. Okay. Um, just have another quick look in here. Well, we're not dead last, so we can maybe wander around chanting that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to talk too much about this stuff. We'll just uh, wander through here. Population almost dead last. Economy dead last. And by a significant margin too. Uh, yes, I'm not seeing a whole lot of hope of finishing this one, guys. I think I'm going to get my butt kicked. And second place in the top colonies. But we're going to give it a shot. Anyways, I'm going to uh, just uh, do the base redesigns and then I'll call this one to a close. So if you don't want to stick around and watch that, then you can safely take off and wait for the next episode. And for those who do want to maybe stick around for this, then uh, we'll just get this done quickly. I might actually get the large spaceport designed here too. But we'll start with what we have. So energy research, I'll just start here, I guess. And we will edit. that. This will get us our better reactors and everything as well. Okay, so um, maybe i will yeah, put extra shields on this because there's a scientist on it. So let's get some energy collection, a couple of those. And I think I don't want long range scanners on that. So I think that's all I'm going to do to this. Let's get the energy. Then that's going to help our fuel situation too. I should I should almost get that on our ships as well. Um, yeah, like a resupply ships, maybe. Now, of course, resupply ships can resupply themselves, so it's not really a huge deal. Okay, so let's just get this done. Uh, energy collection, we're going to need at least two. I'll just go with two. I want to keep these small spaceports as cheap as possible. I'm not even sure if that one that I started building is even still going. I have to check on that. Okay, so... Um, I'll put a long-range scanner on it, just because they're handy as hell. And another reactor. Okay. And I don't want to do too much more to this. Like I said, I want to keep this one fairly cheap, so that they build somewhat quickly. 1,500 maintenance, that's not bad. I might take a few of these concussion missiles off. Let's go down to 10. Just Trim a little bit of the fat here. Um, I'll take five armor off. There, it gets us under 1,500. Got medical and recreation. Okay, I think we'll just go with that for now. Oh, my energy collection just spiked there. Just dipped because of the uh, long-range scanner I put on here. So that couple more of those got to go on now. Wow. And back over 1,500. So I think I trimmed a bit of fat before doing that. And there's no cargo here, which is fine, because planets supply the cargo space. And save. I think we're good. Boarding strength. Again, I'm not going to worry about this uh, small spaceport. The idea with those is to build them quickly and then immediately upgrade to the medium as soon as they're done. So, And while we're on spaceports, let's just do this one. Energy 
collection. Actually, let's go put the scan, uh, long range scanner on first. Then we'll do the energy collection. Okay, so that should be good. Um, might put a couple of those on. And put some fight. Oh, I already got fighters on here. 12 is good for now. More hab in life. Okay, we'll go with that. And while we're on spaceports, let's do it. That'll be a Mark IV capital port, because I want to get my home world uh, upgraded to this. So this will be our capital port, and I got to put all the stuff on it. And I'm going to start with recreation and medical because I always forget to do that. All right, there we go, and rip the labs off because I have a specific uh, station for there for the labs, so I don't need them here. Okay, no cargo capacity, so that's good. Plan to supply that. Um, did I put the long range on there yet? No. Okay, energy collection. Okay, excess energy output. Holy cow. I'll trim a few of those back. I'm probably going to add some stuff to this yet. So I'll go to that for now. I'll probably fill it up. Okay, armor. That's fine. And shields. Got about 5,000. Okay, so, and what do we got for weapons? Just concussion missiles, eh? We still don't have point defense. It's coming, we're getting there. So maybe I'll just throw a handful of uh, pulse blasters and a handful of rail guns just to sort of even stuff out here. And we're not going to evade because we have no tractor beams. We're going to do old weapons. All right, so life, hab, and I think that might be good. That fuel looks awful high, doesn't it? I'll go to that. Okay. I'm not, I, I still haven't done the math on just exactly how much fuel you need to power everything. But All right, I guess we'll go with that. And that gets us a capital port to build. So we'll do that next episode, if I remember. All right, so that's all that done. Let's get the resort base upgraded. <clears throat> Two of those. I don't think I need long range scanners on these. I'm not sure I need to do a whole lot more with this. I don't know if that fuel supply is a bit low. I'll throw one more on it there. All right, uh, I think that's all I'm going to do with this one. And this is our main research base. So we'll put energy collectors on that. Uh, probably an idea to actually overshoot this by a little bit because uh, distance from the sun does make a difference. But when you look at the uh, actual solar systems, are actually the planets are actually exist within within the first half or third of the area. So you're not really that far away from the sun when you actually look at it. And I don't know if you need to do a whole lot more to this. I'm not going to tweak that out. Uh, actually, yes, I haven't looked since we uh, got rid of that other base. Actually, I might add another high tech. Actually, I do want to bring that up. We're way overkill. But yeah, I think I'll do that since we're in here anyways. And we'll see how we're doing with that. Okay, hab and life. And we will, ooh, just breaking even on that. Now, that in that situation, I would say I had one more. There. The idea is just to sort of offset the fuel consumption. And that's looking a little low, too. 
Even though I got fuel problems, I don't know, I just kind of like to see them a little higher just to make sure that they're not always running out. They should be okay with the energy collection, but again, it depends on how far away from the sun we are, but we're probably okay. All right, so we'll save that. And I think that's all the all the state bases. Let's go to the private bases. Now, for these, I do want to actually hop these up a bit. I might even put some fighters on them. One fighter bay. And I got a couple rail guns already. Yeah, maybe a couple beam weapons. Just to round it out. 61. Okay, we're still good. Lots of shields. Soul pods. This does work. Uh, I've seen pirate ships get boarded from trying to attack a, a gas mining station. Might throw one more. There, just get us to 300. So that's pretty good anti boarding. And I think we'll just go with that for now. I don't want to do too much at once. I might. Uh, I think I'll just wait on that. There's a lot of these, so rather than stressing out our fuel situation, I'll just leave it at that. Okay, so what did I do? A couple of those. Okay, we left four missiles. I guess that's fine. All right. And we'll do the same to this one. And uh, energy collection first. Fighter bay. A couple of beams. And I th think we're probably pretty good. Okay, good enough. So uh, next episode when I come back, I'll get all this stuff retrofitted and we'll carry on. So I think that's all we need to do. I don't think I need to look at anything else unless I want to... Yeah, I'll wait for energy collection on the ships for a bit later. All right. And I think that's where we'll leave it for today. And I, like I said, this gets me into Saturday. So I'll have no problem continue on. So if you're still with me, thanks for joining me and we'll catch you next time.